Before attempting the BACS installation, always follow the Generix user manual and or the BACS quick start guide. Before starting your BACS installation, be sure that you turn off any breakers supplying power to the battery system. Prior to starting your BACS installation, these are some of the tools you'll be using during the install. You'll be using your BACS measuring cables, insulated torque wrenches, your BAX C20 modules, insulated screwdrivers, BAX bus cables, your BAX quick start guide and web manager, safety gloves and glasses, voltmeter, you have some battery cleaner as well, as well as some alcohol to clean off the surfaces. In this video, we're gonna be installing on four 12 volt batteries. You may need to repeat the process where additional batteries are in the configuration. The surfaces of the batteries need to be clear of any oil or dust prior to installing any of the BACS hardware. In this step, we're installing the BACS measuring cable. The technician is observing the polarity of the batteries on each post. The battery measuring cables install with fast sign connections we also have ring terminal connections from M5 to M12. The technician has moved to the next jar, observing the negative polarity and the positive polarity. In this step, the technician is gonna install the C20 module onto the battery using the 3M dual lock strips. From here, he's attaching the measuring cable to the module. He repeats the process for the next module, attaching it to the battery, and then applying the measuring cable. This part of the installation is the installation of the BAX bus cables. The BAX bus cables install between the modules. You can see that there's various lengths of BAX bus cables to support different installation types. In this section, you can see that the BAX bus cables are installed and no lights are present on the BAX modules. You will not see any lights until the BAX modules are connected to the BAX web manager. Here, the technician is installing the BAX bus cable from the BAX C module to the BAX web manager. Here are the cables that are required to connect your PC to the BAX web manager. BAX USB to serial adapter connected to the USB on your PC to the service port of the BAX web manager. The BAX dip switches need to be set. When it's in the center, it's in the default mode. To the left, it's set for static IP. And to the right is DHCP mode. Using a standard patch cable, connect the Ethernet port of your PC to the LAN port of the BAX Web Manager. Before starting the addressing, make sure all modules are slow blinking red. This is the default delivery status of our C modules. This mode shows that each module has been programmed with an address using the BAX programmer. Each module should be slow blinking green. This section is showing the BAX programmer. I enter the start and end address of each module. Each module wakes up and the technician will press the button on module one. Once the BAX web manager is connected to the modules, the modules will switch from a blinking green to a solid green. He'll get an audible confirmation and move to the next module. Then he'll press the button on module two, module three, and module four.
Using the BACS reader, you enter the start and end address of each module. The BACS reader will pull through voltages and temperatures and show transmit receives for each value. Once you get valid answers, you can stop the reader. We now begin the BAX Web Manager configuration setup. Log in to the BAX system using your username and password. Go to the BAX setup page. From here, you can enter nominal battery voltage, amp hours of the battery, the number of batteries, number of strings. You can enter any battery information, such as types and locations. You can choose your discharge detection source, current sensors, current multipliers, and any charge or discharge settings. You hit apply to save the changes. This section shows the BAX thresholds on the web manager. From here, you can set warning levels for voltage, temperature, and impedance. You can set a voltage difference alarm using the drop down menu. You can also set alarm levels on voltage, temperature, and your impedance values. Once those changes are made, click Apply. On the BACS Web Manager, you can set host name, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and a DNS server if necessary. Hit apply to save any changes. The BAX Web Manager requires a time server. In this section, you can set up to three different time server IP addresses. In this section, you can also select your time zone using the drop down menus. Once complete, hit apply to save any changes. This is showing how to use the BAX reader software in the manual mode. In this mode, you can pull module types, softwares, and hardware, voltage, temperature, and impedance for one battery only. You can also set a module search for the battery you're pulling. On the web manager, you have the BAX status screen. From this screen, you can show all your battery voltages in real time. You can sort each value by voltage, temperature, or numbers. It shows you your total voltage on the system, your target voltage, and your current levels. It also shows you module types and software versions, battery information, contact information, battery alarms, and firmwares.